Hello over there, I am Giant Girl with more Super Mario 64. In the last part, we took on some of uh, Wet Dry World. We started Wet Dry World and we got a good, f we got fairly far into it, so let's continue. We got four stars, that's pretty cool. Go to town for red coins. Okay, I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna do the Ava coin challenge and I'm gonna do the 100 coin challenge at the same time. Dang it, I need those coins. I need to get, at least get two of the three. Where's the other one? I think it might have disappeared. Yeah. Oh well. So I want to start off with that being the lowest level. Although I did jump into the painting and it's very hard to get the lowest level I believe in this. But yeah. But we'll just switch with the switch thing. So let's go around and hit it. There we go. I guess for the heck of it we'll get rid of this box. I don't know why. There's no coins in here or anything. We already got the express elevator. Hurry up start anyway. But I don't know. Just to leave one mark here for Bowser, you know? So, I feel that, you know, Wet Dry World has plenty of coins, so you shouldn't really have trouble getting the 100 coin star. But let's see how I do first before I can actually make that a true statement or not. It's good to start with the lowest level right here because... Because, like, you can get all these little coins right here. So that's good. So I'm 24 coins, so if I die, I'm gonna skip to 24 coins when I have 24 coins again if I die. Okay. Gotta be careful with this blue coin switch thing. No, I don't do that. That's actually a good, perfect, that's actually a good camera angle for once. I think so, key too. I figure where these pop up at. Oh, right here. Yeah, I'm already up to 57. Wow. Um, is there anything more in these fours? I don't know. I think that's it. So let's switch to this level right here. How? Okay. I already have like 57 coins. Oh, that was fast. Well, because we have a lot of blue coins in this course, because the blue coin switch. I guess that's why. Ouch. Oh, man, I wanted to hit the water level on that. Oh, well. I think it's still, yeah, it's still high enough for the little railing right there. If I remember correctly, I can still do this. That's good. That's awesome. I did a triple jump. No coin. No, no, no. <laughs> Just so I don't take damage in case I did take damage if I was too high. <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm already, I'm already at 81 coins. Now 82. <laughs> I don't even need the red coins, I don't think. Or do I? If this box has 10 coins in it, I'm gonna be set. But I think it only has like 3. Nope, it has 10. Am I gonna get the star as well? Wait, wait, I can't grab the star because it's too high. There we go. Nice. I was getting away there for a second. Oh, do you want to save? Nah, I don't want to save yet, at least. The mystery is the mystery is of wet or dry, and where does the s solution lie? The city welcomes visitors with the depth they bring as they enter. Cool, interesting. So now we're gonna try to go and unlock the cannon. Yes, there's a like cannon in this in this um in this course. But let me push this block. 
pushing the block like a boss. So yeah, there's like at least a hundred and well, there's 16 red coins that I haven't got yet. There's eight red coins worth two rupees that I haven't even got yet. That's 16. So there's like at least 120 plus coins because I know you can defeat that this purple Babam guy. I'll show in a second. That guy right there. I know you can beat him and he'll give you at least five coins, I believe. No! I didn't want to do that. Well, that was kind of fun, but still. I wanted to hit that water level. I think that's the highest water level you can get without having to get a specific one. So I feel lag there. I don't know, I don't know why, but like my audio's cut out. Like I saw if there's like missing pieces of audio. And like it's gone, my screen has gone black a couple times. I don't know why. So yeah. Let's hope for the best. Now let's get it. There we go. Nice. And I think I know where the bomb bomb buddy is. He's near the shocking airlift star. I know that. He's in that direction. I think he's on top of that platform right there. But how to get to him? I forget. We have to like backflip jump or something. Because we can't use the cannon to get him. Because he's the one who has to unlock the cannon for us. You can't see him that You can't see him at all really. But yeah. See he's right there. I forget how to get to him though. Hmm. I think I'll enter. I'll think I'll ask the course though, and I'll come back because I want to enter the painting with the highest water level possible. So I'll ask the course for now, and we're gonna go back. Get the hundred coin star. We don't have to worry about it. That at least. So yeah, another wet dry world is definitely a course that has easy coins in it, like so many coins. So again, you want to backflip into it. Make sure you scoot it up a bit, scoot, scoot up a bit though, and just make sure you do that. And now with the highest wire level again. This should work. I'm pretty sure it does work. Dang it, I did that wrong. Dang it, well, let me change the camera. Okay, got him. Hi, I'll prepare the cannon for you. That's over there, of course. Okay. Um, there's two things I want to show you. Um, first, if you did what I did and go to the highest point and back up into the painting automatically, this is like the highest level. Even it's even higher than that level over there, because like it's a bit higher, as you can see. Um, you can actually just swim. You don't even have to use the cannon. And if you're just right, you if you're just right next to the cage, like this, and then you just jump as high as you can, you can actually just reach the thing without even reaching the cannon. But I want to show you something else, so I'm gonna actually use the cannon. But I just wanted to show you that you can get to the town without even using the cannon if you just do the method I did. So that's cool. So make it to the lowest level. This is very important, and it'll save you a bunch of time because it's really hard to get to the cannon without using this little trick. So you're in the lowest level now and you want to come over here and right in this corner right here is a teleportation thing and i'll teleport you right to the cannon it's really helpful so yeah i kind of want to shoot for those one-ups first fail wait can i walk on this ah fudge i landed right here Ouch. I want to go for those one-ups though real quick, just because I like getting one-ups. Let's hope I don't take too much damage though. I like the background though, you see that's like town and stuff. Okay, I need the blue coin. I just need one. So again, I'll teleport to the cannon again. Camera angle, come on. I got twenty I got thirty lives basically including zero. Now without knowing the method of how to enter the painting at the highest level, you would have to usually use the cannon. And I think it's about right there. That's a little short. I missed it. Oh I didn't take any damage, so that's a plus. So I have to aim a bit higher than that. 
So let's go back. This is fun. And let's try again. And we'll aim a bit higher this time. So like, maybe like right there. Yeah, right there. There we go. Boom, bullseye. Oh, I don't take any damage because I landed in the water. Nice. So you want to swim down and the spooky music will come, but it's actually good music too. So just swim your way. And the trick is, there's a little opening on the bottom of this gate, but there's a little opening on the top of this gate. See, that's a trick how to get through this. So that's cool. First of all, I'm going to go for air, just to be safe. Now, the red coins are all in this area, so keep that in mind. And there's a bunch of spiders who are giving you coins, too. There's at least, definitely at least 120 plus coins in this coin, which is pretty nice. And, and there's some coins on the bridge right there. And there's coins up There's so many coins in this course. Jeez. So, I want to go to the very bottom, uh, make the level to go to the very bottom. I figure where it is. I think it's around this corner. Around right one of these corners. There it is. And how nice is that? Let's go for some air. Okay. So, if I remember where the coins are, that will be good. But I don't really remember where the coins are. I know there's some on top of the houses, though. That's true. This is a one-up. Is this a one-up guy? Yes, it is a one-up. This bad camera angle. You're kidding me. Kitu. I wanted that one-up with Kitu, but you kind of just made me not get it. <laughs> I don't know. I think there's a coin right here. There we go. There's one. There's two. What is happening? What is happening? Come on, just let me- Thank you, let me grab onto the pole. Okay, do I need a better angle than that? I'll have to work with this, I guess. I don't think there's anything good up here. Um. Oh, oh cool, I made it. Um. These bad camera angles aren't helping Okitu. How do we get up there? It's like, I forget. Do I have the wall kick? I meant to ground pound there so I didn't take any damage. But no, I pressed the button too late. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try and wall kick here if I can. Wait, what, what's this? Is this like helpful? Okay, whatever. Fine. We're gonna have to wall kick. Dang it. Oh, I made it. Nice. No, I didn't mean to do that. Not taking damage today, bud. Okay, I have to do that amazing wall kick skill again. Where am I? Where am I? Okay, good. I thought I almost fell. Come on. Five. That was stupid. Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna wall kick again. Wow, is there a red coin up there? <laughs> I wish I was a flame thing that wants to burn my butt. You jerk. All kicks will work, guys. Boys and girls, ladies and germs, men and women. Okay, so...
That's seven. No, that's six. Okay, that's six. So. How do I get up there? Oh, I can walk it, I guess. I killed the spider. Hmm. I think the last two are actually in those boxes right there. So let me slowly like walk over. Fine, I'll do it the other way. How nicely did it. No, are you kidding me? I'm serious. This is stupid. So swim. Thank you. Dang it. Got back. I gotta do like a side jump. There we go. Come on, give me a better angle. I think this is the eighth red coin. There we go. Nice. There's our star. Nice. So we continue, I guess. Oh no, I I I went in too low. Like I was gonna do the. I was actually gonna do. I was gonna enter the painting with the highest water level again, so I wouldn't have to use the cannon. But I don't want to exit the course now because it'd be wasting even more wasting even more time if I just tried doing it like the first time with my method but like I'm gonna have to use the teleportation thing and I'm gonna have to use the cannon but that shouldn't be too bad I wanted to do it with the, without the cannon though but that's okay again to do that you just um, go, go into the painting the highest level do a back back flip into the painting basically and you should get there at your highest level and then you don't have to use a cannon there but for me I was stupid and just randomly just jumped in there at the, during, at the middle height and I have to use the cannon now but that's okay so let's use the cannon again and if it's right over there, it's probably good to aim right here. Yeah. That's good. Oh, just barely. So again, you kind of don't take damage because you land in the water. Anyway, now we have to go swim down to the town again. Which is nice, because we've done this before. We know what we're doing now. We're familiar with it, and we're going to have fun. Let's go, Mario. Just swim your little heart out. Now the trick is with this one, is you want to make it have the lowest level again of water. And you can use the invisible cap this time. And you gotta go through that little cage that we saw the star in the, in the last star mission. So yeah, but first I'm gonna go up for, well I guess we can go for it when we drain the water. So here it is. Nice, we're full healed now. And the thing is, I think the, yeah, it's right over here. The visible cap doesn't last long, so you have to move. Okay, let's go. You can go through the walls here. And that's all there is to it. Now, what you want to do next is you want to, I think it's, you have to walk, you have to just jump on these things and do a little bit of platforming. How big are these? I can't see. Do I have to use this again? Do I have to use this pickup again? I know. If I could get a better camera angle, that'd be great. That's so confusing, like... How tall are these things? Maybe I have to wall kick. No, don't hit that. No, I didn't want that. Now I can't walk it, see? Let's wait for this to wear off.
got it, nice. So you kind of have to walk it funny like that for some reason. But here's your star. Here I made it. I made it good. I'm gonna say continue on save actually. And what drive is not complete? So I'm gonna go off to the next course. I think the next course that I like to do is Snowman's Land, which is right in here. Hey look, you can see Lakitu in here. Ouch. There's Lakitu. But as you see, it's like not behind us or anything. She's like not behind us though. It's like crazy. He's magical. Here's Snowman's Land. Snowman's big head. I honestly hated the story when I first played the game because multiple reasons. I lost my cap, the penguin was being mean to me, and the snowman was obviously being mean to me. But you know what? I'm gonna go for some easy stars first before I do that. I was in this course. Oh look, it's Chill at the Bully. This is the Chill at the Bully star. And that's all there is to it. Ah, take your star and run with it, ladies and germs. With that, we did show with the bully. Continue, don't save. And I think we're doing. I'm gonna do into the deep freeze next. Not snowman's big head, but into the deep freeze. Cause this one's right there. It's really easy. If I remember where to go and punch the um, deep freeze, I guess we could call it a deep freeze or an igloo. Kinda, I don't know. I call it the deep freeze because it's not really shaped like an igloo. Plus, in this course, there's actually there's an actual igloo. So when I do that and come down here and fall through this hole and then you get your star. Nice. You don't save. Hi, hey, hey, we're knocking these stars out one by one. <laughs> Snowman's big head. I actually want to do a different star other than Snowman's big head. It's kind of in the same direction almost, or at least the way you're supposed to go. But I'm going to take a different star on size. Ouch. Okay, remember the the ice uh the icy water in this course does hurt you if you're staying it too long. So keep that in mind. So what you want to do is you want to jump off one of these prompt these these flower guys and then right here's one of these is a star. Is it this one or the other one? They have the same color box too. Yeah, it's this one. You wanna grab this box. Let's continue, don't quit. Or continue, don't save. Okay. I think it's about time we do Snowman's Big Head. Why don't we, why don't we just knock that out? Just let's out of the way. So what you want to do is go this way. Just kind of the way we did the last start mission. Ouch. Okay, there we go, I made it. But you can also long jump onto this little snowy hill at the beginning of the level. That's harder to do, and I don't have the skills for that. So I'm gonna just do it the way I did it. And just go this way. Okay, just slowly but surely. Hey, who is there? What's climbing on me? Is it an ice ant? A snowflea? A snowflea? Whatever it is, it's bugging me. Haha, <laughs> bugging me. Bug. Huh. I think I'll blow it away. So the trick to this is, if she blows you away, you'll lose your hat, but you'll be blown in the same direction as your hat, so that's convenient. But what you want to do is take this penguin and just like sneak behind it, you know? Hopefully I can do this right. Hopefully I'm doing this right. Oh look, I'm not doing it right. I'm not doing it right, man. I didn't time it either. I'm gonna grab my hat. I'll meet you guys back when I get there, to the top of the snowman guy. Snowman's head, basically. Okay, back- whoa. Back up here, I kind of take a lot of damage from the freezing waters on the way to get up here, but that's okay. Now if I can do this right... I did it- no! I thought I did it, man! Come on! Okay, right back here. So we can get third time's the charm, right? 
Let's hope so. So if I can do this correctly, we'll be successful. Come on, Penguin, get over here. Come on. Oh, he, that was a perfect time to run. Got it. What? Seriously, I thought you, I thought I had it again. Are you kidding me? Okay, here we're back. Hopefully I can get it this time. No! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If I mess up right now, I'm going to be so upset. No, 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 no. Okay, take it slow, Steven. Take it slow and go get the star. Go get the star slowly. Okay, there we go. I'm so glad that star mission's over with. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just, I got very upset there. But my high score is 16 coins, and I'm going to save and continue. So this has been the end of my Super Mario 64 walkthrough guide. Redux part, and the next part will take on more snowman's win. I don't think we'll be able to finish it, but we'll see. So this has been Joanko again. I'd like to finish it again. Goodbye, and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Super Mario 64 Redux walkthrough guide. <laughs>